Hey guys, welcome back to the stream. Once again, we are going to be trading NQ futures with the Polarity ATI. First off, we're going to be switching it right into regression mode. You can see here, very obvious range here being formed. So we're going to be doing that and arming it in both directions. Please be aware guys, we did have a contract rollover. We are on NQ1223 now instead of 0923. Looks like we got filled into our first trade here. It's a long trade inside of this range. We got moved to our auto break even. Looks like we got stopped out of our first trade of the day there, unfortunately. However, we did have that auto chase on the stop loss, so we minimized our losses. We may exit this range here right off the bat, which will lead us to a trend mode switch. However, we need confirmation, and that confirmation would be either a derived zone forming or us closing out of that bar. Looks like we did not completely exit the range. We actually got filled into a short trade here. If we get filled on this trade, we're switching it into trend mode, and if we get stopped out, we'll keep it in regression. Not really having super great luck starting out the day here, unfortunately, but of course we're gonna keep piling along. That's two losses consecutively, unfortunately, so get put right into a short trade here. Wow, you know, market is just not in our favor today, guys. This is just how it is, and you just gotta keep trading. As long as you're making the correct steps, you're doing fine. I mean, really, we've only had two consecutive losses so far, so can't get in our head too, too much in our heads about it, but of course, Today is our first day back in over a week, so there's gonna be a little bit of a mental learning curve. Super unfortunate there, got stopped out. Big stop out there. Gonna switch it into trend mode here after we exited that range. Put into a short trade here, and we get filled pretty quickly. Bring our losses to only 572 on the day. We're already halfway back up to a break even. This puts us back inside of the range. I am going to be switching it into regression mode because of that. It's important to stay consistent with our rules even if we start off poorly. Looks like we get filled here into a long trade in regression, putting us back into the range if we get filled here. Wow, we just touched our take profit there. That's super unfortunate. Almost touched our stop loss. Definitely a nail biter for sure. Got filled there and we immediately get put into a short trade here, very interesting. We are gonna switch it into trend mode because we got filled here, unless we re-enter this range. We're actually up positive now, 504 on the day. Some pretty good news. Gonna be switching it back into regression mode here as we re-enter this range. Get put into a short trade here, very interestingly. We're gonna be switching it into trend mode. Got filled pretty quickly on that one. You put into a consecutive short trade there. Unfortunately, we end up losing that one, putting us back to 590 on the day. Put into a long trade, which is gonna put us back into this range here. We're gonna switch it into regression mode unless we get stopped out on that trade. I feel like it's pretty obvious what range I'm talking about. I'm obviously talking about the prior area. That was this one. Get put into a short trade. Of course, either way, we will be in regression mode. Obviously gonna be rearming in both directions. Get filled there pretty quickly. We're up to $1,500 profit on the day. Keeping it in regression mode here, we're still inside of this range, but if we close out of this green bar, we will be inside of trend mode. See here, we get put into a short trade, very interestingly. We're not super far outside of this range here if we get filled, so that's not going to be our conclusive trend mode switch unless we also close out of the bar. Got filled there, switching it into trend mode because we had that close in the downward direction. Hopefully this is all transparent for you guys. You can understand what my thought process is. If it's not, please let me know. Also, I hope my mic quality is good this time. I know that there were some issues with it last time. I was on the wrong setting. This one should give you guys some more clarity. $2,000 on the day now. Definitely some great progress from where we were. Um, always frustrating to start out the day with three consecutive losses. Kind of a mental thing for me. I like to have a daily profit cushion, but of course, we don't get to choose that. So up to $2,400 on the day now. Get filled into a short trade here. This is maintaining chop around the zone. Hope you guys can see this. 
I am just going to be marking out this basic range that we have here. Remember, these are very rough. You don't have to be super precise with your range. The uh, polarity does a lot of the heavy lifting as long as you just have a general idea of what's going on in the market. If you're able to determine that this is obviously a range here, a zone of chop, there's adjacent bars, and you should be in regression mode, you'll be fine. We're on seven contracts, so we're pretty highly leveraged. So I, I don't think we're very highly leveraged for our account size, but just so you guys know, if you just start trading this, I do not suggest starting out on seven contracts. If we close out of this range here, we will be in trend mode. Closed out of that range, switching it into trend now. If this red derived zone holds steady though, that will be an issue for us. We wanna see some momentum breaking up through it. Really not getting the momentum we need here. We're gonna do a preemptive regression switch. This is because we touched through that red previous zone that was automatically marked by, by uh, the Analytica chart for plus, and we're just not seeing any movement in the upward direction there. Interestingly, we actually get a fill in the long direction. If we get filled, we're switching it into trend because that'd be outside of the range, which it does. So we're up to 3,500 on the day. Filled there long. If we get filled on the win, we will maintain our trend mode selection. Delta looks good. Down here, we have a continuously green delta correlated with price. Got a very quick fill there, up to 4,000 on the day, or at least $30 away from 4,000. Get filled again into a long trade here. Fortunately, we do not have enough momentum to make that trade work. We're up to, back up to 3,500. Starting to get a little bit of chop here around this reverse RSI. I actually should have been aware of that. I totally ignored it for some reason. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys caught that, but that would have indicated that we would have topped out there. So we're gonna be switching it back into regression mode. Get filled long here. Also, we've changed to sell market orders, by the way, just for posterity. And just so we don't get the silly times where price touches our profit target and doesn't fill us or at least half fills us. Unfortunately there, we get another consecutive loss, bringing us down to 32.57. Fortunately, we do have that auto stop chase, so that's gonna minimize our losses. Those derived zones filled out there, so they are no longer a factor. However, we have moved back into the previous range. I am going to delete these because they are no longer, um, they filled out, they got pushed through and there was no full clean break. see here that we have had non-correlated delta now for all three of these bars here. It's gonna confirm our regression mode switch or our regression mode decision as we haven't switched in a while, but we're just gonna confirm that we're supposed to be in that mode. We may actually get a clean break here through this reverse RSI. Looks like that did not happen. Sorry guys, not a lot of commentary I can give right now. I just haven't really made any analysis or decisions, just sort of waiting for something to happen. I actually got filled there. I didn't even see, I was looking at my phone. Sorry about that guys. Um, got filled there, gonna be keeping it in regression mode and arming in both directions. Up to $3,700 on the day, or almost 3,800. Profit target is 5,000, but if we really don't start seeing some pretty decent movement, that could also be a reason for us to stop trading for the day. I mean, 4,000 is pretty close, so that'd ideally be what we get, but I think we'll see some market movement pretty soon here. We've actually seen an extension of our range now. I've talked about this before, but we have a 73 tick range now forming. So this range is significantly larger than our take profit or stop loss, meaning that this would actually be considered trend mode movement. We've now confirmed that with this second bottom here. So gonna be putting it into trend mode now until we see something else happen. We put here into a short trade actually. Just almost touching our, wow, that was super close to touching, <laughs> filling us on that part. That's kind of frustrating. It'd be super nice if we could get filled here. There we go. So I'm now up to $4,200 on the day. Well, you can see that right after we closed on that part, we get filled into a long trade here, which is gonna put us back into this quote unquote range. Fortunately, back down to 4,000. And we're starting to see some 
change in the market. I mean, it's it's not moving at the pace that it was when we started trading. And I just don't like trading when it's moving slowly. It kind of gets in my head and it's not exactly fun to watch. We did have this derived zone form, but I don't know, I'll, I'll wait and see. If we get if we get filled into another trade pretty soon, I'll keep trading, but if not, I might end the stream. Oh, there we go. We get put into a short trade there. Okay, so now we're back up to 4,400. So we only need one more trade to reach our profit target of five. Pretty difficult day to trade, but our win rate wasn't exactly stellar. However, because we have that skewed risk reward, we made out pretty well. Yeah, you know, I will settle for 4,500. Um, that's pretty close and I'm happy with it. Thanks so much guys and I appreciate